Hi, I'm Jen Maleka, the Holistic Health Boss, your functional diagnostic health practitioner and expert. And this week I have to rant about something, you guys. I mean, really, how many doctors does it take to finally get healthy? Now, I know somebody who went to over 30 different doctors and health specialists um, before he finally started feeling better. And the funny thing is, is that not one of those health professionals is the reason why he actually started feeling better. The reason is that he actually took his health into his own hands and that was the turning point for him. Now this person did his research educated himself and got his hands on the right lab tests and resources to find the missing pieces to his health puzzle so that he could get back to feeling like himself again. This is the perfect example why I'm hosting a free webinar coming up called Why Typical Blood Tests Don't Tell You Squat and What Tests to Run Instead on Tuesday, January 16th at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern time. You can click on the link below or go back to the email or you found this to register for the webinar. Now back to my rant. I left the gym life as a personal trainer and general manager back in 2009 because I could see how diet and exercise alone were failing to help people achieve a better state of health. I then got into corporate wellness because I thought I could have a bigger impact on employee populations using a broader approach. But over time, I morally started to have a conflict with that area too, because we were preaching to people the standard government uh, regulated recommendations for food and health, and they just weren't helping people get better. It wasn't moving the needle at all. I became and still am kind of sick and tired of people placing government regulated health standards and doctors on a pedestal taking their word as the word of God when it comes to health and watching it not work because the reality is, is there is so much new information out there. You are the one who holds all of the answers to your health and your body and we need to trust that intuition. So in 2013, I became a functional diagnostic nutrition practitioner and I started working with people one-on-one -on -one so that I can help them get their hands on the right lab tests and resources and information to find the missing pieces to their health puzzle so that they could finally start feeling like themselves again um, or for the first time. Essentially, I wanted to change the world of health one person at a time. Now, I help my clients do three simple things that most health practitioners don't. One is that I help them to understand what foods are right for their body so it can function at its optimal potential. A second part is that we uncover hidden healing opportunities within the hormone, immune, digestion, detoxification, energy, and nervous systems using functional at-home lab testing. And the third thing is I teach them how to connect with their body at any given time so that they can give it exactly what it needs to feel their best all, always. Now, none of this is rock and science. It's simply getting back to the basic principles of health that have proven to work over time. Most doctors or health practitioners or professionals are usually selling us solutions that are not in our best interest, but in theirs because of maybe the money that they make off of the pharmaceuticals or the solutions that they're selling. Now you obviously don't make money off of recommending dietary changes, more sleep, um, or reductions in stress. So why would these health professionals do that, right? Now I'm also tired of, see of seeing people accept less than they deserve when it comes to their health and well-being over overall. Accepting that this is just the way it is or the concept of getting older and therefore my health will naturally decline over time because that's not actually the way that it has to be. I can't even begin to tell you 
how many clients I've worked with who were told to ignore their symptoms, that they were fine, or that nothing could be done or found when they obviously didn't feel like themselves at all. They knew that something was wrong. Now, many of these clients had no idea that they had underlying hormone imbalances, autoimmune conditions, um, issues with digestion or infections. All they knew was that they felt tired all the time, had suddenly put on weight that they couldn't get rid of, felt like they were maybe in a constant state of brain fog, um, they were battling bouts of depression, anxiety, mood swings, and overall like just had a feeling that they didn't feel like themselves is how they described it. You know, one client came to me with thyroid antibody levels at 425, for example, and anything over 10 is when a thyroid autoimmune condition can be clinically diagnosed. Now, her doctor said that he just wanted to keep an eye on it and gave her zero recommendations on how to bring those antibody level levels down, even though she was suffering with digestive issues, brain fog, weight gain, dry mouth, and skin, amongst other symptoms that correlated with Hashimoto's, which which is a thyroid autoimmune condition. After just a few short weeks of implementing lifestyle changes that I had suggested for her, her energy was up, she was thinking more clearly, and she was bloat free, basically. Now, another client as example came to me and she was only able to eat six foods. Could you imagine only living a life where you could eat six foods? And after a battery of tests and doctors, she was still left without any answers. It wasn't until we started working together and under my guidance, did she finally get her doctors to run the right lab test that she needed, and she received a diagnosis of celiac disease. Once we had that information, within six weeks, we were able to work towards getting her to eat up to 23 different foods. Now, conventional doctors aren't the only ones who are missing the mark. I've seen plenty of clients who have previously worked with other different types of health professionals who are sometimes falling short, short too, and it's not their fault necessarily, they just don't have maybe enough information. Now, one such client had been suffering for over a year with extreme fatigue and had to practically quit working. She sought out a naturopathic doctor who treated her for adrenal dysfunction and food sensitivities, but never checked her for digestive or th um, her thyroid health issues. And even though her sister had an autoimmune thyroid condition, to no avail, the treatments fell short and she eventually landed with me and we ran the right test. Lo and behold, she had a plethora of gut bugs, uh, her thyroid antib antibodies for autoimmunity were through the roof and she was living in a house with mold. After just two months, her thyroid antibodies were back down to healthy ranges once we implemented some changes for her. Now, I think that it's absolute BS how the media, certain health professionals, um, marketing, and so-called health companies have preyed kind of on all of us after we've been beaten down, told that we don't know anything about our health or that it's too complicated for us to understand. So in this week's blog, essentially, I want to share with you how to figure out what's going on with your health in such a simple way that even a monkey could essentially figure it out for you. All right, so I'm gonna give you some simple tips on what it is that you can do, basically, because the reality is is that your health is really simple. When we focus on fulfilling our bodies basic needs with ad adequate food, sleep, exercise, the right nutrients, and reducing stress, we can heal ourselves. There is no such thing as one thing that is going to fix your health or get you um, back in touch with yourself. Having your best health and feeling like yourself requires work in multiple areas of your body and in your life, right? It's a, sometimes it can be a long road. However, we do need to take ownership and advocating for ourselves and how we've treated our bodies 
and in, in acknowledging what needs to change essentially. You can't keep doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result or outcome. Now, you don't need to diet harder or exercise more. In fact, in some cases, you need to exercise less. There is no magic pill or supplement that will fix it all for you, okay? In two words, I can tell you what is wrong with your health and whatever it is that you're suffering from. One is stress and two is inflammation. Symptoms such as headaches, fatigue or low energy, gas, bloating, constipation and diarrhea, anxiety, depression, ADD, ADHD or mood swings, ovarian cysts, thyroid or hormone imbalances, high blood pressure or cholesterol, weight gain or the inability to lose weight overall, joint and or muscle um, pain, autoimmune conditions, acid reflux or GERD as some people know it, skin rashes, acne, eczema, psoriasis, period pain, cramps, hot flashes, night sweats, congestion, allergies, sinus issues, and restless sleep, the list could go on, are all symptoms of stress. The stress has created some kind of metabolic chaos in your body, which leads to inflammation and dysfunction in the bodily systems, which are then producing symptoms that you're experiencing, like that long list that I just went through. So if you want to reverse the dysfunction in your body and get rid of your symptoms, you simply need to do two things. One is identify what is um, stressing the body and remove the stressor. And two is to reduce the inflammation. Now by reducing or removing the stressor, you're gonna reduce inflammation. And in order to see the big picture of stress and inflammation and the meta metabolic chaos that is occurring in the body, you need to run the right lab test or you can run typical lab tests and they need to be interpreted from a functional viewpoint to help you connect all of the dots. For example, a high triglyceride ratio is a good marker for insulin resistance, which points to carbohydrates and sugars as being uh, stress culprits. Or another example is when certain red blood cells components are elevated, that can be a sign of intestinal parasites. And these guys can, kind, can cause all kinds of chaos and stress internally. But your doctor or health prof professional may not be connecting those dots for you. So I say it's time to put a stop to this confusion and for you to become more educated about what your lab tests are really saying or to figure out the right lab test that you need to run so that you can become your own health advocate and take back control of your health. Now, join me for this webinar where we're gonna go over these things on January 16th at 5 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. Eastern. The webinar is all about why typical blood tests don't tell you squat and what tests that you should be running instead. In this webinar, I'm gonna uncover um, specific truths about lab tests as it relates to your health, such as how blood tests and saliva tests don't tell the full story about your hormones and what secrets might be hiding in your urine, what's wrong with lab reference ranges, how they could be lying to you about your health and what optimal ranges actually look like, how markers on a comprehensive blood chemistry panel can give you clues about your gut health, which is the cornerstone for all of the rest of your health, and why you should be running maybe functional lab tests, not conventional lab tests, in order to find the missing pieces to your health puzzle so that you can get back to feeling like yourself. Now you can register for the webinar below, like I mentioned before, or go back to the email where you found this video. And I just want you to know that you don't have to be that person that has to go to 30 doctors or 30 health pro uh, professionals to get the answers that you're looking for. It is possible to have the energy, mental clarity, clear skin, flat stomach, and to feel good in your body again and be in control of your health. 
All you need to do is to learn about the right lab tests and resources in order to give you the clues that you need to find the missing pieces to your health puzzle. So like I said, you can get back to feeling like yourself again, or maybe for the very first time. And I'm here to empower you. So again, join me for this webinar on January 16th at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern time, why typical blood tests don't tell you squat and what tests you should be running instead. And don't worry if you can't make it live to the webinar. If you register, you'll be guaranteed to receive the recording. That's all for my rant this week, you guys. Hope you found that helpful, and I hope to see you on the webinar on Tuesday. If not, I'll see you on the blog next Thursday.